All right, where are we? We getting going here? Cunt, cunt, check, pussy, check. pussy. Check. Conte. Contalini. Cunt. Ass cheeks. Good, good fucking butt cheeks. Anyways. Let's show, all right, let me play this weird voicemail. Oh, uh, we're running. We're up and running. Damn it. Hi, my name's Joe. I don't know you. I yeah, just know some things. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure how or why I know them. I just do. Within a year's time, at least one of your unanswered prayers will be answered, <laughs> and some of your forgotten dreams will be realized. You may feel, sense, or even see at least once a bright white light. It brings indescribable peace and joy. You deserve it. Till then, mon ami, and the scene of the deals is your temple Hmm. So somebody's got a crush on it you. It sounds Nick. like good news. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Have you heard the good news? I, I, to me, that sounds all like good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Damn, dude. Yeah, you're about to get. You're about to get John Lennon, dude. Yeah, I just I before you do it, just let me know what that part in Spanish was because it's driving me insane. It's gonna be like that guy. And before you say it was French, he starts off in French, switches to Spanish, and then goes back to French. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's throwing you off the scent, dude. Yeah, what's the scent? He's a master Dog of shit. romance my language. It's a, he's a scratch and sniff my penis sticker. Yeah, yeah dude, you're um, that it. Your dreams are someone's dying. gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah, probably. Didn't the guy who killed Lennon have a? He had uh, a crush. No, he had a copy of Catcher in the Rye. Yeah. On yeah. Him. Oh, no, the guy that, that kills people. That shot at Reagan was the one who had a crush on yeah, Jodie Foster. Yeah, Hinkley had a crush on Jodie Foster. But yes, I think that, uh, uh, was it Mark, J- David, Mark Chapman? David Chapman? Mark David Chapman, yeah. Uh-huh. Dave, yeah. So this guy, this guy's going to have a copy of the fucking the Don Simpson autobiography, dude. Yeah, probably. A well worn <laughs> copy of that one. Yeah. <laughs> He's just going to. Well, he killed. He killed Lennon for saying that the Beatles are bigger than Jesus. Mm. That was Christian terrorism. Interesting. Oh my God. We, we ever talk? Well, about we've that never about. blasphemed God in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, now stop scared, huh? Now stop scared. Now stop. No, I'm not scared. It was it's, trying. It's fuck fucking it. annoying that like I'm the one that has to be murdered, even though I do like probably seventy percent of the jokes on the show. Yeah, well, that's yeah, what well, it that's is. why you're gonna get murdered. You put it I'm out there. But Paul McCartney is better than John Lennon. Uh, no, John Lennon no. was like the guy. No, he's just like a fucking weird guy that said weird things. Paul McCartney's a better musician. Was but at the time, who was the most popular? That's true. So there you go. So that's what you get for being but good. I'm at not the, show. the most popular. Yeah, you are. Who's the most popular? From the Stop's show, the most popular. From the show, From you're, the, the, show, most you're the most popular. You're the most popular. No. Yes. I, I'm just the. Uh, you're, listen, man, you're gonna die. I'm the conductor. <laughs> you're the one that's gonna die. Stav's the Stav tells me what to say. He's that's actually. True. The, I write all of Nick's jokes. He's the one that's. I'm just some stew. No, nice if try. You're gonna bitch. murder somebody. Nice try. <laughs> For years, I've been establishing myself as a fat, dumb moron. With the and that will save play me. of all. Adam's definitely safe. That no, we can agree on. Yeah, no one, even, <laughs> yeah. no one will forget that he was on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, within yeah, within hours of your death, people <laughs> will forget that. <laughs> At the second your death's announced, just Adam's Twitter followers just drop precipitously. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, I've been saying it's like what the dream is for me to kill a bunch of the fans. You have to now. That would be great. They've started it. Mm-hmm. Such a reversal would be. Mm-hmm. No one sees that coming. No. Right. Imagine a Pantera concert. It's 2003. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then that guy is like, I'm going to kill Dimebag. But he's walking to the stage. And before he can, fucking Phil Anselmo pulls out a AR-15. A- AK-47 and just yeah. lights up the crowd. <laughs> he's like, what can I say? I'm twisted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did. I only made the show popular so I could gather a bunch of people like me in one place and kill, kill all of them. Because like kind of killing myself situation. wouldn't be enough. Yeah. I need to kill 900 versions of myself. Yeah. Uh-huh. That would be cool. Yeah. You don't cut off the head of the snake. No, they'll you just kill, grow a you, new head. They'll grow a new head. You kill a body. <laughs> you, kill a body. <laughs> you kill the body. <laughs> and the head stays floating <laughs> in a little fucking tank. <laughs> the head is to be appreciated. <laughs> it's the coolest part of the snake. <laughs> it does. It is cool. The tongue is cool. The yeah. forked tongue. Mm. The rest of the snake is bullshit. It's, it is completely. It's just it, fucking. It just squeezes things. It's a little arm. It's like and one arm. It becomes the shape of a pig that it happens to eat. The thing I'm That's most cool. excited for... It is cool that you can see what it ate. Uh-huh. 
What do you I, want, you fucking? I cat? think it's Relax, gonna be cool bro. when the guy. That, kills that is you. cool that snakes do that. It is. I, I fuck with that. You're like your snake wife comes home and you're like, she's like, "Where have you been?" And he's like, "I just had a pig with Mike and Eric." Yeah. And they're like, "Well, we're." I can see that there's not a pig. Yeah. <laughs> it's another snake's pussy yeah. that you can see <laughs> in his stomach. <laughs> I wasn't eating Charlene yeah. the Where's snake's pussy. Where's the rest pussy? of your body? I don't know. It's around the corner. <laughs> Let me. I'm following it. No, stay here with me. <laughs> do snakes fuck? How do they fuck? Do uh, they have cocks? They like kind of twist around each other. Damn, I've never seen a snake's penis. I've looked up snake sex before. Mm-hmm. Do they have cocks and pussies? Or do they lay eggs? Uh, they lay eggs. The they reptiles. lay eggs, yeah. How do they fertilize the eggs? They, they twist around each other, put their Does, snake do, do snake Do snake women just throw up little eggs and do snake guys fuck the eggs? No, I think they shit the eggs out. Do birds have, like, sex or do they just yeah. fertilize the eggs like fish? Birds do have cocks. That's true. Okay. What does a snake's penis look like? Um, here, now I'm this very is, curious. This is snake sex. Okay, let's look. Let's pull it up. Hurry up, Adam. But I don't know where the penis There's is. Dead oh, air. Okay. Right. Yeah. So right here. Okay. I guess is that that's that's the sex part. Oh, so it opens up from your scales. You have a little cock. Oh, you have cock cock armor. Yeah, I guess that would so. be awesome. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Looks like bullshit. No, it does. That looks like bullshit to me. No, man, that would be cool to have a fucking have armor protecting your cock, and when you're horny, it's like, mm-hmm. and your cock comes out. Mm-hmm. Anyway, you're good. You're. Uh, I think you're gonna survive, man. I think it's just a online internet thing to get people scared. Mm. With that with that with the voicemail. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a Slender you, Man kind of situation. I think it's Slender Man for adults. Yeah. Uh, please That's, don't bite my arm. It is pretty cool. This should be a spooky voicemail podcast. Ooh, yeah. What's up, bros? You're listening to the Spooky Voicemail Podcast. <laughs> and we're playing this one from a Chinese company that says they're going to sue me if I don't give my, them my social security <laughs> number. Wow, that's so spooky. <laughs> yeah. I keep getting uh, people telling me the government... Well, it has to open my business, or has to look at my business. I get a lot of those. Business. I've never gotten a voicemail like that before. Interesting. That's the first time I've gotten like a... Yeah, that one, you can't really tell if it's a pre-recorded voicemail or some guy just I will say he's phone. got a sweet voice. Yeah. He's got a really he's scary He's lulling voice. me to That's sleep. That's the kind of voice that, like, you know, they cast in a movie as a guy that kills people. Yeah, that is true. For sure. I will say for that. Sure. Yeah. Because it sounds like he's trying to be loving, but he's a psycho. Yeah. And it's scary. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, the good news is now people that want attention know to just leave you a voicemail. Oh, yeah, and you can get on the show. Really. <laughs> Damn. How would you want to die if you, were, if you were assassinated? Oh, if I was assassinated? I would want to do the assassinating if I wanted to die. No, man. That's what Nick just said. No, 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 but I would, like, kill, like, uh, you know, Mitch McConnell or something. You want to go out yeah, in a, for the cause. In a political act. Interesting. Not me. I would kill Baron Trump. <laughs> <laughs> for politics. That's you know? true. Yeah. I think I would want... I think JFK did... As far as assassinations go, that is pretty cool. Your shit gets splattered everywhere. Yeah, yeah that Headshot. didn't happen right away, though. They shot him in the neck first. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, and then he was like, something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, got shot. My, my friggin' neck, neck hurts. Yeah, you see him, like, grab his neck. Oh, that sucks. No, up. I want to go out instantly. Yeah, what's her name, like, consoles him. Jackie? And then, yeah, and then his yeah. head blows And then, up. Blah, mm-hmm. And then you get that picture of Jackie, like, crawling out of this car. Covered and you in see blood. her dumper. She's got a fat ace. Yeah. That's what that's what she it, was everyone thick. thought about her. <laughs> yeah, you could see her pussy in her ass. <laughs> everyone forgets yeah. that. Just pure pussy. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to talk about. Everybody talks about frame two sixty two of the Zapruder film, <laughs> but I would like to draw your attention to frames one thirty four <laughs> through one thirty eight. <laughs> one thirty four, Jackie's begins exiting the vehicle. One thirty five. A gust of wind blows her dress <laughs> up towards her with us. 136, the pussy and ass and vagina begin to be exposed. 137, fully exposed. 138, we can see into 
the first lady's vagina. <laughs> 134, 135, 136. Play it again for the jury. <laughs> Step back now. 135, 136, 135, 136. I want you to look at this. And mm -hmm. do not forget your fallen king's wife's pussy. <laughs> like, are you still... Thank you, that's very nice. Does this have to do with the case? <laughs> do not forget your fallen king. <laughs> Did somebody say that? Yeah, it's a fucking scene from JFK. Yeah. They call him a king? Yeah. Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner's like, do not forget your fallen king. That's fucking... That is fucking gay. Yeah. The movie's so long. It's long. It's a good movie, but like, yeah. you know... I mean, enough people have pointed out that it's like, it's just so funny. Yeah. yeah. It'd be like if you made like a masterpiece about how uh, Israel did 9-11. <laughs> I don't see yeah. a problem with that. Yeah. Just like a fucking... A fair and balanced approach. That's a great dramatic film about like, even even like the, the minimal amount, like Donald Sutherland is in JFK mm -hmm. is great. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'd love that movie. You, you can see Donald Joe Sutherland's Pesci? ass cheeks mm -hmm. in uh, Animal House. You can't Stop beat off to his ass. I didn't, but I did beat off to the girl. Yet another reason that he should die. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. First of all, I've never beat off to Donald Listen, Sutherland's Joe, ass. Listen, Joe, Stav's out here Second, ma no, masturbating to Donald Sutherland's ass. Don't try and get me killed, because man. Because he's moved so far away from God. Uh, no. And is so unappreciated. You know what? I, listen, okay, I don't listen, believe Listen, Mr. God. Jigsaw. <laughs> no. Listen, Jigsaw. <laughs> Stav is the fat guy. By the way, if you're trying to hurt Nick, he does not care about me. So hurting me will not do him any it, harm I care whatsoever. about him deeply. He doesn't care about me at all. He only cares about himself. That's not true. The I only way you can myself. kill Nick mm -hmm. or I don't harm care about him myself. is by harming and himself. And as a result, it seems like my care for other people doesn't exist when really it's just muted because... I, He's trying not to die. I'm not trying. He's not to trying die. to slither out of this execution, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not and to, you must kill in him. In fact, I would honestly enjoy being placed into some sort of saw contraption He's lying. because I'm an earnest fan of He's franchise lying. movies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is another thing about me that Stav doesn't appreciate. I have seen all of the Fast and Furious movies. I've seen all of the Saw movies, and mm -hmm. I I enjoy all of them. That's I enjoy true. a good plot mm -hmm. like the rest of the guys. Out yes, there. and if anyone is wondering. Why I was so quickly in fact, able to produce? Shut up! In fact, what? <laughs> if wow, see that doesn't even care about his friend. Yeah, I don't care about, care about his, his story. Yes, <laughs> I don't care. his story. I care about my friends, but their stories no, he does themselves. That's he not what caring about people is. That is part of well, it. You're, no, you're just talking about etiquette. I'm just saying. Remember how you ate all of Adam's medicine on the road because you got hungry? And yeah, there was nothing but in it looked it was pink and it looked tasty. He needed that. It looked bubblegum flavor, so his penis wouldn't turn back into a <laughs> vagina at midnight. <laughs> and you ate all of his medicine. Yeah, but it was really tasty. And my penis, I grew e three three extra Ooh, inches well, of foreskin. What did I do? I didn't eat the medicine. I just laughed at his <laughs> vagina as a friend would, because it's you only care about the superficial. Look, the point is, Joe. <laughs> 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 anyway, mm. I hope Joe doesn't kill you. Even though you told me to, show I want to be. I want to be killed you, by a femme fatale. Mm -hmm. What were you going to say, by the way? I had a joke that I was going to say, but now I'm kind of on the spot. It's moved over. It's moved. No. On. It's moved on. I was going to. Oh, nothing. I want. Let me say how I'd like to be killed while a woman fucks me. Like a, a long, a tall blonde Russian lady who's been wearing a, a black wig, uh huh, and is wearing red lipstick. Yeah, you know, That'd like that cool. style of execution. Her lipstick. Where is she poison? gives me pussy first. Oh, that'd be cool. I want, yeah, I want to die in the yeek, in the pussy cheeks. Get strangled between her thighs. Yeah, I've been that lucky, would be awesome. I've been lucky thus far that I've only had to deal with female schizophrenia. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. In you what know? sense? That's less violent. Um, yeah, it's just like unstable women, like, uh -huh. you know, they think you're, they think you're destroying their life. Mm -hmm. They're like, I love you. We can fix this. Right. Like, Please stop sending people to my house. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if anyone's wondering why my book, My Friend Nick, came out a week after your murder, <laughs> just have them know that I didn't have it written before. <laughs> That I had it. Uh, uh, yeah. Adam's book, Donald Trump Raped Me. <laughs> <laughs> Adam on Anderson Cooper. A lot of people think that when they think of rape, they think of the sexy stuff, the fantasies. <laughs> they can't wait to have sexual fantasies about being raped in the dressing room at, 
at Macy's. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take a break. <laughs> That's and, enough, actually. Yeah, actually, we've ma'am the camera. We've turned the cameras off for four hours uh, now. Yeah, sorry. You I, keep I, talking about. Uh, we've already raped. fired. I'm not all even of Anderson our Cooper. Yeah. I'm a janitor with gray hair. I'm a different guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ma'am, I will say Anderson Cooper, the gray hair is cute. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's salt and pepper daddy. His mom's hot too. Yeah, she's a fashion designer. Yeah, she was hot. I'd like to have she's sex with her while she's wearing Slamderson Cooper. Mm-hmm. Slamderson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that guy. That guy's gonna live forever. He's yeah. one of those oh, gays yeah. that's gonna live till like 150. They. Yep. And his penis is gonna work the entire time. the whole time. Yeah. Good shape. Sleeps in you know uh, like the Barbasol containers they keep combs in. Yeah. Yeah. He sleeps in one of those. In uh, alcohol. Yeah, yeah. It's preserved. But it's young boys. Not boy, but fresh. Fresh cum. Ectoplasm. It's, you know what it is? It's stem cells. How about rectoplasm? Okay. Uh-huh. And it's cum from a ghost's <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. So it's another ghost has fucked the ghost in the ass and came in it? Or yeah. it does it come out of his ass, this style of ghost? Yeah. How about they go into like an old hotel and they're like, there's a ghost on floor six and they get up there and it's Slimer, but he's just sucking off like a million guys. <laughs> and he's just blah, 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 blah. There's just cum all over that the floor. That doesn't sound so bad. Yeah. And they're like, oh no, it's Slimer. I wouldn't even mind getting sucked off by Slimer because it's not, it's just like almost using a sex toy, I would say. Well, Slimer would have consent, you know. Yeah, Slimer would be consenting. Sex toys don't consent. So you're you think I you rape consider my it every night. <laughs> you consider it rape when you have when you beat off with this flashlight? Yeah, I consider it when I use my hand and dry jack my dick. I want to <laughs> You know how ghost hunters are like, if you can hear us flick the lights, I'm going to do that but with consent when I get my uh-huh. dick sucked by a ghost. That would honestly getting sucked off by Slimer would be cool. His mouth Getting probably feels good. Slimer? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I wonder so. how tight it would feel. Now, could you just fuck the back of Slimer's head? I smoked a little bit of weed the other night and it felt great. Oh yeah, there I we should go. get back into it's doing weed. Now we're talking. Weed. It's time to smoke oh, weed. Shit. Someone sent me a link to the Frank Frazetta Museum. It's only two hours from here. Should we go? We should. That's the guy that does all those sweet ass dragons and big titty ladies. Yeah, and yeah, shit. fantasy art. I Where love is it? That upstate? Shit. Yeah. I I uh, I don't know. It's two hours west of here, the guy said. West, but yeah, I love I love Frank Frazetta. That's that just cool. awesome. I I like. I wish I was good enough. Like, you're a good I, drawing. You no, know, but I mean, I've never had that. Like, I mean, like that that level of. Some people are just artists. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. My dad's like that. My dad can just sit down and draw and paint or whatever. Yeah, and. uh yeah, I always like because I would love to have been that rather than like you could someone be. that calls things gay. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Well, you could do that with your art. Yeah, but not. Trust me, it's not. It's not the same. It like I did. I I remember like I got into like digital painting a couple of years ago, uh-huh. mm-hmm. and I started recreating like the cover of uh, one of the Man of War albums. Hell yeah, dude! Yeah, and I just painted that for like days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it felt great, but it's like it's so much work for me. Yeah, uh-huh. you know, I think it's worth it. Yeah, just become a painter, dude. Yeah, do nudes. No, I mean it, it is like I don't know, drawing and painting and sitting around doing like visual art. It's like it does click over after like maybe an hour or two, where you're. I mean, I I, I don't know the mechanics of like how you're like consciousness works but you, you like click over into a different kind of like attention where there's, oh, like, shit. there's more you open up your third eye brother well it's not it's more that there's like more it's like there's a direct connection between like what you're visualizing and how your hands moving uh-huh. and the more time you spend doing it the more you know it's like it becomes like you're just sort of thinking about what you want to see and then yeah it's just yeah, happening. yeah that's fucking tight yeah i can never whatever's in my head it's very hard to get it out. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. interesting because it's kind of like the opposite of writing. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we spend a bunch of time like drawing or whatever, and I get into that zone, and then I try to go back to writing, and I'm like, the, bo- the boy went to the doghouse. <laughs> 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 like, no ability to, to write at all. I have no other talents whatsoever. In, in life? 
what do you mean? Much, what no. do you mean other talents? Yeah, I guess are you stand up? Not even. Oh. I'm not saying podcasting. <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> what, be, yeah. what what talents do you think you have? I could do stand up, <laughs> but absolutely nothing else. And you know, yeah. I can suck a pussy. I'm like okay. Like nobody's business. I'm okay at like three things, and then just like sex with men, just kissing men, dog shit at everything else. Yeah, like the entry level of like this is how you do it if you're a beginner. It's like oh, the piano's on fire. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know how. I tried it. to take guitar lessons. I couldn't do that. Uh uh-uh. uh. What songs did you get down? I did the beginning of The Godfather. The oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty sick. Oh, it was electric? fucking sweet. It's, it's dude. also such a cool song to play on the guitar. Imagine a bunch of people at like a campfire and stops like, check this. He's <laughs> <laughs> just trying to get some the, pussy, plucking the theme to the Godfather. People <laughs> <laughs> are like, wow, wow, great, man. And then I also learned how to just play the do 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 the beginning of Sweet Child of Mine. Okay, so really just repetitive, like pretty easy to do stuff. And I would just play that kind of shit for hours, and I'd be like, yeah. "I'm practicing." I remember pretty fucking tight. I remember you learned Blackbird first. No, I feel like that's the first finger picking song everyone. No, learns. fuck Blackbird. Why? How's that go? Dude, Adam sucking on a gay guy's dick. No, but like on yeah. guitar, not the. Dun, 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 I I I don't want to sing it anymore. Wow, wow! Because my voice, my believe in yourself, man. Voice. Yeah, believe dun, in yourself. Dun, yeah, I can only dun, hear the dun, dun. lyrics. I don't know. Adam sucking on my hard ass dick. I don't remember the rest of it though. Dun, 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 dun. Whatever. <laughs> Was John Adams good? Yeah, the he could trade. President? No, I mean the HBO show. Oh, with Giamatti? Yeah. I don't know. I never watched I it. just want to be president. <laughs> yeah, you let you... me be president, I'll suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you look at Paul Giamatti in a fucking wig and go, oh, that's not yeah. Paul Giamatti? Mm. He's just too... It'd be like having Gary Busey in a period piece. It's like, this fucking <laughs> Gary Busey. I know... Yeah, it's, it's me, about- George George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump raped me, and when you get raped, it's sexy. I don't feel like a victim. I feel like a sexy piece of ass. But he was fantasizing about, and it hurt, but at the same time, it was sexual. But this wasn't sexual. It was sexy, but not sexual. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with Gary Busey. We'll be back with Gary Busey. <laughs> <laughs> on, Promoting on, on Anderson George Cooper. Washington on Showtime. Am I allowed to take my shoes off in here? <laughs> <laughs> I got my my dogs are barking. I walked up two flights of stairs to get to the studio. We're, uh, we're on the ground There's floor. There's no stairs. There's no Mr. stairs. Mr. Busey. There's no stairs, Mr. Busey. Yeah, it was by the, the dressing rooms here. <laughs> I think you raped me in the dressing room. <laughs> On the stairs. On this, you rape me in the stairwell next to the dressing room. <laughs> uh, Gary, I didn't rape you. <laughs> Anderson Cooper lies about rape. <laughs> Anderson Cooper d- calls rape victim a liar. Wow. And he's like, look, Gary Busey said I raped him outside of my show. It didn't happen. <laughs> liar, Anderson Cooper <laughs> lies about cancel him. Get him canceled now. <laughs> What, How dare you deny raping somebody? Who? What media is, uh, company is accusing him of lying? Um, Refinery29. <laughs> <laughs> Eight times Anderson Cooper lied about raping it's so Gary funny that, Sometimes like a company that sounds like it was named by a Chinese person like yeah. Yeah. just takes off. That really sounds like a Chinese company that makes cell phone cases. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know, Refinery29. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, they got asbe- They do uh, cases in asbestos lining. Mm-hmm. Those what is it? Things. It's a girl website. Yeah, it's a girl website. It's a baby girl website. They got pictures of my cock and shit for girls to get for horny sweet too. mommies. For sweet mommy girls. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, man. They do. They they would do like viral vids. They do. They would do BuzzFeed style shit. Gyral videos. Gyral videos. I That's cannot good. wait to make a gyral video. <laughs> Is that just gay pornography? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> well, we're celebrating the Fourth of July. Yeah. God bless America. Oh, yeah, God bless. There's going to be a big old uh, Donald Trump's having a parade tomorrow. Oh Tanks. yeah, dude. Donald That's pretty ass. awesome. That's what I call him. I can't wait till he has like a, a jacket with like four hundred medals on it and shit like that. Uh huh. Like a generalissimo <laughs> yes, kind of thing. Dude, you know he will. 
That's you know, but if he when he gets a second term, he just starts dressing like Michael Jackson. He is going. Yes, he's going to recreate Michael Jackson's <laughs> wardrobe and put it on. Donald ass. That's what we call. Him Have you seen those Bush. photoshops where it's like he's bald and has a beard, and people no. are like, he's got to do this. <laughs> people what? want him to be hot, dude. People want him to shave his head and get a beard and just look like a fucking white supremacist. Can he grow facial hair? Probably not. Probably whatever dick pills he's on stops yeah. uh, hair no, growth. I don't know about that, man. I take dick pills and I can grow a beard. Yeah, you got a bush yet. I think he's in some kind of... He's got special kinds of dick pills. I'm glad I grew the beard out again. Yeah. I might let this bad boy go for six months. I love it. I haven't had a big beard in a while. Mm-hmm. ZZ Top? Mm-hmm. ZZ Get Top? It's been like five years since I grew out a beard. Yeah, I have pathetic facial hair. The yeah, Lord really has not beard. blessed me with any physical... I'm, I'm, like, just there. I have, like, just enough coverage that I can grow a beard. No, you got uh-huh. a good beard, brother. Yeah, no, it looks cool. You got cool. Th- a thicket of hair. On this side. This side, no. It doesn't connect. Let me see. It's like this... Uh, yeah, beard. it's not that... But whatever, you're good. Yeah. I can't grow fucking shit. Why did the Lord fucking... Stick me in this fucking shit body, dude. I went to some, like... I went to that Chelsea market, and there was some, like, beard supply thing, and those guys... Fucking hawks. Oh, like oils and yeah, brushes like, and stuff? What's up, bro? Come here. Why don't we take care of your beard? I was like, <laughs> what? I thought it was like a hat store at uh-huh. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, and he then, must put oils in your face. Yeah, special combs and uh, uh-huh. yeah, and elixirs. Mm. I think you should grow the beard, but you should also like get like a fresh like box-out tape-up and then mm-hmm. comb your hair so you get yeah. waves. I See, I think we should tape your box up. Yeah, so tape, tape up your pussy. Stops leaking it pussy smells blood all over. really bad. It smells bad from we all the old We can smell your pussy from the old cum you keep in there. That 1970s You're cum. You're storing some <laughs> vintage <laughs> splooge I wasn't even in your pussy either. hole. From a couple of a guys named Slick Willie came through <laughs> and left old 1970s cum. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A guy named Ernie and then his friend Slick Willie yeah, yeah. fucked your so pussy. A guy named, yeah. A guy named Slick Willie rolled through your hotel room and bit your <laughs> lip and left some old 1970s cum in you. <laughs> Damn. It's wild that people just have had, have been shooting fat loads since caveman times. You think cum has evolved? Uh, yeah, I think for a fact we bust more. We bust more? Yeah. We Is shoot it thicker? We blast more rope. No. You think we blast more it's rope been, than our caveman predecessors? Evolved. Yeah, it's a blast more rope. Horse cum looks like male cum, pretty much like cum. I remember from Jackass. It's, it's like, like white and frothy. Yeah. What's the first animal to to bust rope, dude? What do you mean? They all do. No, but I mean, evolutionarily, when did cum start? Starfish didn't come. Fish starfish, didn't really starfish come. Starfish still don't come. Well, that's what I'm saying. Where on the continuum did dinosaurs do they have come well when we left the the seas people left the ocean so they could start blasting so they can start because they got tired of blasting in the water and not yeah. being able to admire it yeah they wanted to see it on land <laughs> yeah, that's why the first fish crawled to land that's why they crawled to land so they could give other fish girl should they get fish girls facials yeah they could see finally how much they were actually blasting that's awesome they can measure it in beakers and stuff that's why we invented beakers absolutely yeah. These are interesting. I, I always used to love the evolution part of fucking school. Shit was cool. I liked looking I at little like fucked up horses. I didn't like it at that all. That were halfway between a horse and like a giraffe and shit. I didn't come from no monkey. Oh, yeah? No. Intelligent dick sign? No. We've been around for 5,000 years. <laughs> I like yeah. that. I, I buy that. You think so? The evolution is fake. You think so? Yeah. No, nah, it's real, dude. I are think. Are you going to believe Charles Darwin? Yeah. That guy Why? fucked kids. Did he? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think you're thinking of Walt Whitman, but they're very Walt similar. Whitman definitely fucked kids. He And not only fucked them, he, like, cuddled you know, young boys and sucked their little dicks mm-hmm. and shit. You know a poet was having, like, very intimate, was very intimately molesting boy. He was taking <laughs> him out to their ca- his cabin and shit. He's the one that did the thing about being in the woods, right? No, that was Thoreau. Ah, yes, that's You're true. You're thinking of Walden. I am thinking of Walden. Uh-huh. Well, don't name it so close to Walt. Mm-hmm. Henry David. Mm-hmm. With your two at dumbass first names. Hank Thoreau. That's what I call his ass. He just went He went to the forest to, to bust. To bust also? 
That's what that all you know. That's what all was about. that shit called? To the woods or some shit? What? Just imagine, he would look like that when he was having sex with boys. Walt Whitman. Yeah, yeah. If it would feel like a wizard was sucking you off. Yeah. If you wore a little hat, I bet it didn't even feel like getting molested. Yeah. Keep, I felt like you were in a keep world. this a secret, Frodo. <laughs> This ring protects me and you from the truth. <laughs> the cock ring, just slides a cock ring on. <laughs> as long as you have this ring on, you'll be invisible to people's criticisms of our romance. <laughs> I guess if you had to be molested by a guy, it would be a guy that looks like a wizard. Whitman demonstrates part of his Americanness by placing cock sucking at the center of leaves of grass. Nice. Gay liberationist Charles Shively, not one to mince words, wrote this in Calama. Calamu lovers, Walt Whitman's working class camarados, his revelatory, if sometimes risable account. Damn, there are some big ass words in this big For bad no boy reason. That I was not expecting. Revelatory? What, it started off with cock sucking, and now it's challenging my mental yeah. faculties. Reveal this dick, bitch. An account of the poet's queer egalitarianism. Whether cocksucking is central to Whitman's book or even uniquely American is debatable. <laughs> uniquely more, American? Yeah, more pertinent is the God. implied connection between Whitman's homosexuality and his patriotic fervor. Interesting. So he thinks he's, you know he's what's, a gay what's patriot? What's really interesting is, you know, the Uncle Sam picture, the, uh, like, we yeah, want, I you want you for the army. That was just copied from a British propaganda poster in World War I with um, Field Marshal Kitchener, who was... Um, uh, uh, a pedophile. Well, uh, he he developed a taste for buggering in the desert. Hell yeah. yeah. Ooh, the desert? Yeah. He's having dry gay sex? Yeah, yeah. He was a British army officer that was like uh -huh. sort of a sort of... The, he was like their Pershing, basically. Interesting. You know, like their big time general hero. Well, mm -hmm. they had like a big culture in the in their army of like uh, Bro, orientalists. Of, like, here's the thing. That would put on like Muslim clothes. And get fucked in the ass. And get fucked in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Okay, if yeah, you're gonna what, like T. E. Lawrence, if you're yeah, if you're if also... you're being gay on a boat where it's humid, it's wet. Uh -huh. Fine. This motherfucker's in the in the desert, and he's taking his little canteen out. He's unscrewing his canteen mm -hmm. and pouring water on his cock. And yeah, fucking everybody's in the got ass. cat penis in the desert. Everybody's got a dry, <laughs> rough penis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're using fucking. It's too hot to be gay. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, it's too hot to be gay. It's too hot, too hot. Back too then, hot, now baby. we have lubes and all kinds of technology. Too hot to be uh -huh. gay. Too the way hot to air be conditioning gay. Has, has made it possible to live in hot climates, uh -huh. it's also made it possible to be gay in those climates. Yeah, just and imagine this guy going out shit. to the desert to have gay just sex. Just having gay sex, and <laughs> that he is hot. First oral Kitchener. Now, did, did those guys suck each other's cocks, or was it strictly a fuck you in the ass? Butt fucking deal? each other. Each other? Did they switch yeah, it up? Yeah, fucking each other in tents. Damn, dude. It's so funny it how there's suck. like zero difference between the British and the Nazi Germany. Mm. That, what? I mean, while looking at that guy, it's like these, oh, okay. these are just Let fucking imperialist goons. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All the same bad genes. Yeah, but you know you know who the, the Germans decided to mess with and all of a sudden it's a problem? Russia. Yeah, Russia? Yeah, Russia. Sure. I mean, they were messing with the Jews almost the entire no, time. The rest of the world was like, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit started. Finally, somebody said something. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you do a genocide on Jews, that's one thing. Yeah. The, the only reason the you rest of the world didn't Poland? do a Holocaust. Po yeah. <laughs> the Holocaust was sort of like Bitcoin back then. Mm -hmm. when, like, the Germany was having a Holocaust. They're like, it's too late to get in now. <laughs> It's in, in two years' time. This isn't going to be popular anymore. We already missed the boat. We missed the boat. Hey, listen. You you come back in a time machine two years ago. You tell me about this? Right. Yeah, of I'm course. setting. Of course I'm be in. Doing a but what am I going to fucking... By the time I set up my camps, it's over. I feel like uh, anti-Semitism is incredibly old. I feel like uh, they got yeah, in. They yeah, got in late. But, but, but no they one just had, did it the best. No one had that German engineer. The Jews were smart enough to never have a parade, so uh -huh. they, they were all in one place. They can they can pretend like it still exists. What still exists? There's no like like a Jew Pride festivals or anything. There is in New York City the Israel. It doesn't parade. exist. It That's does not, not happen. Yeah, they do. A, when is it? They had it a couple no, weeks ago. I've never heard of that. I if you just don't plan a parade, you can perpetually be like, we don't even have a parade. Yeah. 
Right. Whereas the Por- rest of them are Puerto like, Ricans let's get our own well. parade. And they realize that the parade is meaningless. 4D chess. Yeah. Another, another be- beautiful move by the Jews. <laughs> Great strategy. What are you doing, Adam? I'm playing with these magnets that I found. Yeah. Oh, Nick's cock magnets? Those are my cock magnets, dude. <laughs> what? They hold my dick onto my body. <laughs> That's nasty, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're always doing nasty ass shit. Hold I'm on. Nasty. I'm shady. <laughs> You're shady. <laughs> Why are you being shady? What dude? do you think of this? Your dick not being able to get hard. You put a magnet inside a girl's pussy, uh-huh. and you put a little mag the other side of the magnet uh-huh. on your soft dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just hang on a second. I got to put a magnet in your pussy, <laughs> <laughs> and then your dick is dragged into the pussy. It's a it's attracted, so it goes pussy. in that way. It's still soft though, but it's in. I the hard part of getting a soft dick in a pussy is that it won't go in. I think yeah, you need to put magnets all around your dick too. And multiple magnets in the pussy. Mm. So it'll sort of like uh, expand your dick. How about fagnets? Uh-huh. Okay. What's you that know? about? And they, it, in this time, opposites don't attract. Okay. Oh, so it's like a plus and a plus and a minus yeah. and a minus. Cool. That's cool. I like that. Magnets are cool. I always used to like that fucking around in like science class with magnets for yeah, little batteries they, and shit. Mm-hmm. Putting your best, finger in between the two magnets? That was the best part about... About uh, whatever, school class <laughs> going class. What about it's cool what that about all the use them for trains? Magnets, maglev trains. Yeah, yeah that's cool. sick. Didn't you also enjoy when you fought all the special ed kids at lunch? I did enjoy that. <laughs> I thought that you saw it more as like a duty kind of thing. It was an officer and a gentleman. <laughs> I'm an officer and a gentleman, and I will fight these retarded kids for the the court and the crown. (laughs) For the crown. (laughs) I fight retards for the courts and the crown. (laughs) For Her Majesty. And I lose to them for the church. On Her Majesty's special orders. (laughs) I will battle these retards for the crown, be just to them in victory for the courts, and lose to them for the church. (laughs) Yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, your son's been pretending to be a British officer whose duty it is <laughs> to fight the mentally retarded students. <laughs> and the problem is, is he understands that he shouldn't be violent, but he loves the character so much he can't stop doing mm-hmm. it. So we need to, we're going to have to put him in an alternative program that's just for people who like improv. <laughs> Damn. <sighs> Adam, look, at this, must... look at this statue. That's a cool statue. I know, making this guy all buff and then making him sit gay. Mm-hmm. That's that's interesting. Equestrian statue of Frederick Roberts. Go ahead and look that one up, folks. Oh yeah, that's a fun one to take. A, take a look at at home. If you're following along at home, currently we're looking at the equestrian statue of something. Yeah, follow along. This is a video podcast. This is a video. check out the feed. On www.mrpussy.org. Mrpussy.org. Why didn't they call Mr. Skin that? Mr. Pussy. <laughs> Mr. Pussy. Yeah, I, I think it's a lot more titties. Mrpussyandvagina.com. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Mr. Skin's still going strong, which I respect. Yeah, it's it's a service that people pay for. I can't believe which that. Which is insane. You, in this day and age, I guess you it's really kind of like a. Tra- need to be I paying. guess it's kind of like a travel agent. But how many people pay for it? I think they they probably have a a good number of subscribers. Insane! It's crazy. It's I feel insane. like all that information could easily be free. I mean, like if this podcast is going on in ten years, right? <laughs> and people are still paying for yeah. it. <laughs> They're like, you can just get a chip in your brain that simulates the podcast. Now. It's oh, free, dude. That would be awesome. Yeah. We could invent that and then never do the podcast and sell the chips. Uh huh. I did that Matt and Shane live podcast at the stand the other night. Oh, oh nice. It's a lot of fun, yeah. Those oh, guys yeah. are funny, dude. Yeah, they're funny yeah. as shit. Yeah. yeah. I Shane's don't know I don't know Matt. I don't know Matt, yeah. Matt's funny. But yeah. Shane Shane, a fellow alumnus of the Magoobies Joke House comedian new comedian of the year. Oh, he won Magoobies mm-hmm. new comedian. Me, of the year. Shane, Donnie Sangstack. Ooh. It's a nice lineup, brother. Damn, that's a murderer's row. Murderer's right there. row. And somebody else that I can't what remember. What if we find out Donnie's faking it? 
That'd be awesome. That'd be so I would funny. love that. That would be fucking so cool. Mm-hmm. Our friend Donnie. That Sutters. would be respect. I would respect. That. It'd, It'd be great funny. too to find out that like it was like Josh Blue was pulling like a Steve Ranazizi. <laughs> <laughs> what does he have? Cerebral palsy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my man is he's fucked up. He's just like up. 15 years in, he goes on Rogan, he's like, ah, I told one guy I'm feeling retarded, and he, like, <laughs> believed me, <laughs> and I kind of just he, went from there. He it booked was like, me to play this retarded benefit, it was $4,000. Before, before I knew it, like, everyone in the scene thought I was retarded, <laughs> and it blew up, you know, and I, I don't know, it's like, at what point do you take a step back and say, like, hey, everybody, I was just pretending to be retarded. <laughs> Like yeah. the guy in There's Something About Mary. He's He was just pretending to, to be, be retarded British. to get mm-hmm. pussy. I thought the guy was pretending to be British. And crippled, though, He's right? pretending to be crippled. Yeah. Oh, yeah. true, true. He's like, Mary, I love you. <laughs> Whatever. Just, what is, honest, <laughs> such a funny character. <laughs> <laughs> just pretending to be handicapped to fuck For someone. Pussy. <laughs> For pussy. I respect it, dude. You remember that Mad TV sketch where it's like Will Sasso and uh-huh. fucking Bobby Lee? Yes, pretending to be gay. Pretending to, get to pussy. be gay, and Will Sasso is clearly just a gay guy. <laughs> like, drinking, making, raping ma- Bobby raping Lee. Raping Bobby Lee for years. <laughs> he's like, I don't know, man. We've been pretending to be gay for two weeks. So I don't think it's working. And he's like, you have to stick to the plan. <laughs> it keeps building, and it's like five years later. And he's like, so I picked us up some matching robes. <laughs> yeah. He's just... like, why are we having gay sex? <laughs> Truly the best show ever on television. That sketch yeah. is burned into my mind. I love that sketch. Yeah. No, that one's great. There's one. I can't find it, and I can't remember what it was, but the setup is like it's like a hotel concierge or something, mm-hmm. and fucking the tall guy, not Michael McDonald, but the other guy with the weird face. Remember him? Oh, yeah. He that, That's like, an early one. Yeah. He played that guy with the eyes coming out, popping out. The Java the Man. The Java Man. Yeah, yeah he played yeah. Java Man, and he would play, uh, like, any time there like, he had, like, a strong, like, salesman voice. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember that fucking actor's name. Me neither. Um, but it was him and somebody else, maybe Nicole Sullivan behind the desk. Oh, Ooh. yeah. And, uh... Shout out to Nicole Sullivan also getting her bag on King of Queens after yeah. that. I, you know what? And I remember as a kid, I would have fucked every woman on that show. 100%. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. The seed I've spilled to Leah Remini. Yeah. <sighs> Maron. I think I even had a fantasy of, because she was a dog, not Leah Remini, Nicole, whatever the fuck, was a dog walker in the show. I think I had a fantasy of her walking, walking you past as your dog. house. And she's like, oh, these dogs are so hungry. And you're like, I got plenty of food in here. Mm-hmm. They can have some of my snacks while I snack on your pussy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I traded Gushers for he- for sex for yeah. her. No, it's, she's perfect. Funny, loud, dumb Irish bitch. Yeah. Probably uh-huh. mentally ill. Interesting eyes. Weird eyes. Yeah, weird eyes. They would Leah look Ramini? cool to fuck. No, no. no. Nicole Is, Sullivan. She's Scientologist, right? She was. Leah Ramini. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways, oh boy, I would love to. It's like to a smash. hotel concierge, and Will Sasso is like a businessman or uh-huh. something. And he walks up to the counter, and they tell him to leave. And he's just walking backwards, but he'll like keep like taking a step forward, you know. Uh-huh. And it was when he was way fat, mm-hmm. and then it goes to where the shot so that like just his stomach is coming in and out of the frame, <laughs> and they're like, "No, leave!" And then you just see his stomach on and off the screen, and it fucking like ah, it, I don't remember that man, one. man. If I wish I could remember what the fuck it was, it was like. That show used to bring me so much joy, <laughs> and now nothing does. Yeah. I have to, like, have these gay moments. I have to make them on my own. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like calling you a cheese faggot. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was so weird no that one you ate calls that cheese. Me that, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. No Adam made this cheese. We were in Toronto. We were in Toronto, and there was cheese left there over. There was Baby Bell cheese. Me and Stop pretended to eat it, cause, we, uh, but Adam actually wanted to. Yeah, and he ate it. How are you going to remember another man's because he's the, he, food? Because he's the what cheese you, fan. We're memorizing <laughs> food now? Because he's the... Dude, chill out. Stop has trying just, to wriggle out of this, Stop man. trying to get out of being the cheese fan. You know I that's who you are. I just think it's weird to <laughs> memorize another man's yeah, food. Yeah, I bet you think it is, dude. I bet you do. I, think I bet you weird. think stuff like that is weird. Not. I think it's shady. That's stuff, mm-hmm. This is an argument I made when I accused you of memorizing my bedroom for putting up a Mark Wahlberg. Post. Oh, yeah, that's you did, funny. You did memorize it, Adam. You did. You memorized my bedroom, which makes you gay. Pause. Than me, for just having a cool poster. Yeah, pause. In my room. You memorized where in the my posters room, of the hot in my room that says no are. trespassing on the door, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Yeah. No girls allowed. Anyone Fucking entering Bart here Simpson is dead. Yeah. And has a skull and crossbones. Yeah. My cool Sid from Toy Story <laughs> bedroom. 
that I have as a 30 year old. No one come in here. It's just different posters of Mark Wahlberg shirt. Stay shirtless. the hell out. I just write Metallica on Mark Wahlberg's stomach. I'm like, it's a Metallica poster. And so, well, um, oh, I'm gay because I like Metallica. Just gay porn, and you just write Megadeth, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Metallica, right. Pantera. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, I love metal, so I'm gay I'm now. I'm gay now because I like fucking uh, Fate's Warning. <laughs> Yeah, that is true though. Nick does have posters of Mark Wahlberg. Mm-hmm. I Everywhere. have a poster of Mark Wahlberg. He's got three. I have one. It's the Funky Bunch. He's got the the Calvin the Klein, Klein ad, ad. He's grabbing his dick. Yes, yeah. but it says uh, Metallica. <laughs> but it says Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not gay. I, I might make those and <laughs> <laughs> I might sell those. <laughs> That's very funny. Just Mark Wahlberg grabbing his dick, but it says Metallica. <laughs> 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 yes, dude. Damn. That's how we go back in time and get a bag. Yeah, it's not... We sell closeted homosexuals in the 80s in the hair metal phase. <laughs> Gay pornography that has different band yeah. names on uh, it. Excuse me, it's a Judas Priest poster. <laughs> it's a fireman, like with a buff fireman with giant nipples sticking his ass out. This is Judas Priest. He's got wings. He's got, like, eagle wings. Yeah, just just um, demons having gay sex. It's like, no, the devil. Being gay is evil. I'm metal, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a sin. It's a sin, so it's like actually satanic. metal. Shit, if Rob Halford was here right now, I'd, I'd probably jump his, jump his bones. bones. <laughs> I'd jump his bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <gasps> Damn, I got the fucking hiccups. I got the dick ups. What if you got the dick ups and every time you hiccup, your dick got hard? The D cups. What do you think of that? That happens to me. Your dick gets hard every what if time. It, you hiccup? What if you had the D cups and it was you right now with D cup breasts? I don't have D cup breasts. You this is an D, A cup. You have D cup breasts. Also, doesn't it go by your ribs or something? That's the number, I think. My ribs are large, but my titties are small. The cup size is determined by You're the discrepancy 54A. between fifty four A. The the cup size is determined by the discrepancy <laughs> between your your. <laughs> Uh, uh, the measurement underneath your breasts and then around the nipple. Oh, around the nipple. Huh? Yeah. So if you measure, if you measure like just underneath, and then you measure around, I've 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 put women in bras before. Nice. I used to hang out in Target to do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, if you don't mind, I I could help you with this. My name's uh, Sinclair Velvet, <laughs> and I am. A gay man. I'm a homosexual. I'm a man. gay man hired by Target to by Target help women. You look like your bra is too small. Actually, come into the dressing room with me. <laughs> it's okay. I'm trans. I'm gay and I'm trans. <laughs> uh, come in and I will. I'm going to. But if you're gay and trans, that means you like. Yeah. Women. No, I don't have a tape measure. I mostly do it by touch. <laughs> I'm a savant. Um. Yeah. I mostly do it by touch. <laughs> hold on. Well, we need to get your nipples hard to mm-hmm. see to if get an it, hold accurate on, let me just reading. Suck, let me just suck on these real quick. How's that feel? Well, if ma'am, to be fair, if I play with your clit a little bit, it will make your nipples hard. <laughs> ma'am, I'm a professional. Okay. I guess you want to wear fucked up bras then. Yeah. Bitch. Oh, oh, get yeah. the fuck out of the room. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna think about guys' bodies to calm down. <laughs> You got a problem, you go up and you tell them fucking Sinclair Velvet sent you. <laughs> you just to make immediately arrested. Yeah. <laughs> Done once and immediately yeah. in prison. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, the mug shot, just makeup smeared in tears, <laughs> hair all fucked up. Remember that picture of that trans person that was molesting a kid in the Target dressing room? Oh, there? no. No, I don't. Oh, dude, the mug, shot, the mug shot was amazing. That's <laughs> brutal. Molesting yeah. a child in Target is nothing sacred. I'm trying to get deals. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm that, trying like, to be at the nice... Well, well it was so funny because it, like, it was one of those things where like Target was letting... Um, Target was letting, like, you know, they were like, you can, anyone can use whatever dressing room they want. And, like, fucking people on the left and liberals who are like, what do you, like, that's, it's literally never happened. Nothing. And then, like, mm-hmm. a week later, it was a trans woman. Incredible. Was arrested for, like, staring at, like, some child. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that feels like it was a, that trans w- woman was a plant. A conservative plant. Yeah, a false flag. False flag, dude. We, why can't we have false flags? 
Well, maybe I'm conflating... St- oh, yeah. Maybe you're making something up. Yeah, no, no. Here we go. Transgender woman convicted of raping 10-year-old girl. Oh, That seems no. too on the nose. But the, the picture is so funny. Well, hold on. It's the Christian Broadcasting Network. The, the, I mean, this is a mugshot. Here, according to the Billings Gazette... Damn. I mean, obviously, it didn't get major coverage. In Montana? Yeah. Trial Damn. begins for Casper resident charged with uh, sexually assaulting 10-year-old girl. Jesus Christ. Uh, Miguel Martinez faces one count of first degree. The, the target one was a different person. That mugshot's not as funny. But gotcha, gotcha. Same same situation. Interesting. Yeah. Wow, that's a tough one. Yeah. So, well, it's bound to happen. That's the thing. It's like you know anybody that says like, "Oh, what do you think's going to happen?" It's like, well, that'll probably happen once or twice. Like that's yeah, just statistically speaking. Yeah, it's like if someone's like, "Well, they're going to like pretend to be trans so they can go rape a child," and it's like, who would do that? And it's like. Someone that's really stupid. Someone that's like <laughs> going to pretend to be this trans. Is a dumb rap- rapist. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thinking that's a cover. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. It's like you're a thief and we're uh-huh. like, why don't we just keep all the money on a table at the front of the bank? They're like, oh, well, people are going to walk in and take it. It's like, who's going to do that? Are you going to do it? I'm not going to do it. You Most think people are going to do it. Well, you think trans people are just going to go into the bank and take that money? <laughs> and it's like, maybe one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one trans person will do that. But we should. I'm still just saying you can't trust trans. I people. see. Yeah. That's what you're. That's, that's what you're. Is, so your point is. Your is point that is don't. Touch. That's why we need vaults and banks is to prevent trans people. <laughs> so you think trans people being able to use a dressing room is no? The same I'm not making any money. point. I just thought this mugshot was. So yeah, funny. that is tough. That's <laughs> a weird one. Just the makeup all smeared. Oh no. Yeah, that's not good. Mm-hmm. I'm against rape. But what do I say? I watched, I watched this like Kevin Sorbo short film on YouTube. Was it Christian? Where he goes to war with his school because his son's not allowed to like misgender somebody or whatever. <laughs> and it's like supposed to be funny. And it's just this gay fantasy about like him coming into the PTA meeting and he'd be like, you know, you people ruined what free speech means. And everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my As God. If any, all of Kevin Sorbo's movies for the last 10 years have been like that. Yeah, where it's like he's the like Christian savior of shit. They're it's getting so funny funded by like the Mercer. Family. Zena was a better show than Hercules. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can agree. And he probably that probably fucked him up. Oh, you think that made him be against women? Yeah, yeah. That's why he went. That's why he uses Christianity to attack. Zena had a better costume too. Yeah, I dressed as the I dressed as a Kevin Sorbo Hercules for Halloween when I was seven. It's funny too, as you look at him. I remember as a kid thinking, like, "Damn, that guy's like jacked, and he looks like shit." Yeah, he's I saw wet. a pic too. Yeah, yeah, he's not. He's just a regular ass guy. Yeah, Hercules. but he ha- he got pussy on that show. I will say. Yeah, he was on TV much more than the the mythical Hercules. Mythical Hercules didn't really fuck that much. Really, the gods f- killed his wife, and he was mad. So he was most tried to re- beat up God. He was also he was mostly in revenge mode. He was in sicko mode, Hercules, most of the time. Okay. But I don't think he got that much pussy. I used to love mythology when I was a child. Yeah. He really looks like, you know, your mom's dumb. <laughs> he really like, healing, yeah, bu- he bullshit, looks trans. Hippie, <laughs> hippie friend. Like, imagine this bitch at, like, a farmer's market. Oh, yeah. Being like, ooh, you've heard of, uh, of crystals. Oh, yeah. Patagonia Selling crystals right. that you put in exactly. your pussy while you have yeah. Every time he speaks, you hear his bracelets jingling. <laughs> yeah, like those kind of Midwest moms that look like they're... That yeah. doesn't look much different than the mugshot you just showed us. Yeah. <laughs> That's the same. If you Google image just dropped it in, you would get the same result. <sighs> Kevin Sorhole. Mm, from getting fucked too much. Yeah. Now, what's her, what's her name? Gabriella on Xena? Yeah, the... The so sidekick, and there was like a Damn. lesbian subplot. There was definitely tension. There was tension. But Zena, but there was one episode where they kissed. I thought Zena smashed pussy too. She's a bi icon. Damn, strong woman, Lucy Lawless. You see her titties in a different thing later on when she's blonde. Kevin Sor- <laughs> Hercules is Kevin Sorbo calls Ferguson riots African Americans animals. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Damn, bro. Wow. Can none Ferguson of my riots heroes... have very little to do with the shooting of the young man. It's mm. an excuse to be the losers these animals so truly mm. are. So true, Sorbs. Yeah. Oh, it gets better. It's a tipping point to frustration built up over the years of not trying but blaming everyone else. Oh, my God. The man for their failures. Holy shit. Sorbo's really like... It's like, even if these are your opinions, you have to know this won't go well. <laughs> like, you, have yeah. to know, you have to know that. <laughs> 
<laughs> but in his corner, why not? He's making those weird Christian movies. Yeah, he's probably getting paid good. He's 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 doing like appearances. He's like the cool. It's like the way, like uh, who was that guy baked Alaska? Or just like all these fucking losers just become celebrities because they're the conservative cool guy. Yeah. Um, if you're not talented, just do that. Kevin Sorbo, that's his corner being racist and like. Yeah, no one would think about Scott Bayo unless he's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Him being MAGA made him relevant. A hundred percent. Who was his sidekick? What was that guy's name? Oh yeah, I forgot about that guy. Uh, Lay Layer Billy. Was it Laertes? I don't know. That name sounds familiar. I think it's from Shakespeare. Laertes. Hmm. Uh, Iolus. Iolus? Yeah. Like Daedalus? Remember that? Remember yeah, I do. Yeah. He was like a nerd. Yeah. And this is weird. I remembered so much of that show, and I didn't remember that character or his name. I just knew it was the same setup as Xena. I just remember how they used to shake hands by grabbing the other guy's yeah. arm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they tickle the other guy's arm to let them know that they're trying to fuck. In Greek mythology, Laertes was an argonaut and participated in the hunt for the Caledonian boar. Sa- his title was king of the Cephalonians. Yeah, that's what I meant. An ethnic group who lived both on the Ionian Islands and on the mainland. Yeah, I meant that. Which he presumably inherited from his father, Arce- Arceus, and grandfather, Cephalus. Dude, I, the Ionian Islands, I've never been, but the best chocolate in the world is Eos chocolate, a Greek chocolate. From there? Check it out. Eon. If you guys are, if you guys want chocolate, look up Ion chocolate. Is there any vacation boys listening? You can also buy it off Amazon. I remember I always used to enjoy the episodes when Jockster would guest star. Oh, the trickster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he was a fool. The trickster. I remember Wait, him that? Being the comedic that that guy relief that and the fool. That like nerds are really into. Yeah, him? yeah. He was in something dead. Yeah, what's that guy's name? So one of, he's like Sam Raimi's like brother or something. Right? Yeah, nerds love that guy. No, no, no. Like no. Comic Con type guys love that guy. He's Who's the guy I'm thinking of? The guy that's yeah, the guy's Ted Raimi. Oh no. Ted, I'm thinking Ted of a Raimi different guy. Sam Raimi like directed Hercules or created it or really? something. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jocks are yeah, Jocks Oh no, I'm thinking of that guy, uh, I, I we're thinking of the no, same we're guy. We're thinking of that same guy. Yeah, he was on Burn Notice also. Yeah, it's so funny that those are the credits I know him from. This guy. Oh no, I'm oh. thinking of the other guy. Who the fuck are you thinking of? That guy that's famous, like niche famous with nerds. He was in horror. Oh, Bruce Campbell. Bruce, Bruce Campbell. Campbell. Yeah. You're thinking of the show Jack of All Trades, which was another show. No, he would be on Xena sometimes. Oh, yeah, he would be on Xena sometimes. I th- did he play Ares on Xena? Yes. Or some other. Hmm. Or Bruce Campbell, Xena. Bruce Campbell, baby. Now, there's a man that gets pussy. Yeah, he's lived a nice life. He re- That's the life you want, dude. Be, yeah, he was... But it's a similar thing, because he he was in Evil Dead. That's right. Who Sam Raimi directed that. Mm-hmm. So it's a whole... I didn't realize Sam Raimi had his fucking little paws all over Hercules. Yeah. And then Spider-Man. Damn, yeah. Adam's pissing and I'm jealous. I want to piss. Autolycus. Uh, uh, Autolycus. He was he was good in Xena, dude. Bruce was the only cast member on Hercules that didn't require a costume fitting. <laughs> he just had all the shit at home. <laughs> Damn, now I'm thinking about my book tour after Nick gets murdered. Yeah. Oh my a god. A lifetime with Mullen. Yeah. What are you gonna name the book? I'm just gonna misattribute like you know, I'm gonna say quote like You're never gonna write a book. You're never gonna have the discipline to do anything or you would have done it by now. You wouldn't be in this prison <laughs> of being mocked day have, in, day out. I wouldn't have written the book about your He's about got you it in drafts, dude. Yeah. He's but, waiting till someone <laughs> But if any publishers wanna hit me up, you know Simon and Suckster? Absolutely. Maybe I'll write a book. What should my book be about? About your friend Nick. No, man. I'm going to write a book about of personal essays. I'm going to write a memoir. <laughs> a personal essays? A personal? Mm-hmm. Like when you bust? Oh, uh, bustinal. Bur- yeah, I don't know. Burst? I don't know, man. It's all right, bro. I don't know. You're looking talking. at crypto. You're not in a good space right now. Uh, No, I am in a good space, actually. Oh, yeah? Has I it made, rebounded? I made, I made a couple of... I'm going to try and trade 
my way back to the top. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, hell yes. Yeah, I know. Dude, you know this what? Is, this flight when he does all the cocaine <laughs> in the hotel room. Because oh, yeah. you know what? Fuck it, man. It's there like, he is. The problem is, <laughs> is yeah. I just love gambling. And it's like yeah. winning or losing, who gives a shit? As long it's as I'm rush. as long as I'm doing the gambling. Should we go to Atlantic City? Not sitting City? on the sidelines crying about my losses. <laughs> there we go. I'd rather lose it all uh-huh. and fucking Push be, it to the, be in the house. Come on, Tony. Limit. I just got one. I just had like a bad streak, Tony. <laughs> Come on, this is my livelihood, Tony. Remember when we went David Seferino's park? Don't. And you were we? I was hiding in the car because those guys were kind of coming at me. Come on, Tony. Come on, we play ball together. Don't you reminisce with me? Yeah. Don't you reminisce with me, you fucking snake? <laughs> the fuck that moment where you realize, Come on, the Tony, m- I introduced you to Pepper Ann. <laughs> Don't you ever fucking bring her up I to me. I fucking love Pepper Ann. I fucking love Pepper Ann. <laughs> don't you fucking... Don't you, he's choking him. Yeah. Don't you ever fucking, don't you ever fucking bring, bring her up to me again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know she died in a school shooting. I know there's, I know there's a couple of uh, moolies came into her school <laughs> and shot up her specifically. Yeah, randomly. that's right. That's what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> and I don't want to fucking take up. <laughs> <laughs> he just chokes him with his bare hands. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. I introduced you to Pepperine. I gave you Pepperine's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> I got it out of the customer. I took it out of the, the. I got it off her credit card statement when she came in one time. You saw her in the security cameras. You saw her buying uh, volleyball. Tony, equipment. I told you she was 12 years old. <laughs> and you said, yeah, but she's too cool for seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> Girl uh, like that, she's too cool for seventh grade. Too cool for seventh grade. <laughs> mm, Tony, I gotta tell you, I, uh, don't think you should be having sex with a twelve-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> None of my business. I'm just saying. Yeah, I remember one time I had sex with a twelve-year-old. <laughs> I wish I could do the. Vo- I can only do the mannerisms. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like still. You're doing still face. Yeah, I can do still face. I can you're do wearing a wig. Face. Back in the army, I used to fuck twelve year olds. <laughs> <laughs> in the service, Tony. You want I should whack that twelve year old? You've been fucking. Tony, oh. shut the fuck up, Christopher. <laughs> you keep a fucking name out of your mouth, <laughs> Tony. I didn't fucking say a name. I said that girl. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher, uh, why is Tony mad? I some twelve year old he's been having sex with is <laughs> I don't know, there's a gambling addict or something he needs money for Bitcoin and <laughs> he's the only one that can talk to her. They broke up. Something like that. I don't fucking know. I gotta work on my screenplay. <laughs> Christopher was walking down the street, his penis very large mm-hmm. and visible through <laughs> yeah. his track pants. Yeah. A lot of a whores were trying to have sex with him. You stole my fucking story? <laughs> I love that moment where he's like, the real, legitimately real moment where he's like, they're like, well, you could go into modeling. <laughs> and they really believe that Christopher could be a model. And the, he's like, I think he says no because there's too many gay guys in it. I mean, I think it's the reason they say no, they reject right. it, yeah, yeah. is because there's too many, like, <laughs> I think he says, he might literally say too many fags in there or something like that. And it's played so fucking seriously, and it's the fun, one of the funniest moments on the show. Doesn't he mm-hmm. say he wants to make suits like Hugo Boss or something? Yeah, he's got a lot of fun backup plans when, when the feds pinch her and... Hugo bust. How mm-hmm. about that? Yeah. I love Tony fucking Pepper Ann. Mm-hmm. I could just, we could just do that. That could be the entire podcast. <laughs> it's one joke, and it continues <laughs> for the rest of the podcast. For the rest of the three months. That yes. continues We'd have thing. to know more about Pepper Ann. Mm-hmm. I think she's got a mother. There's a mother character. I might draw Pepper Ann after Tony's done with her. <laughs> no. Like, just dead? No, not dead, but oh. like, you know, like, like Adriana. Um. And put that. But by the way, also, I've got my T-shirt... My side hustle, my T-shirt hustle. Mm-hmm. If you go to come dot town and you want to buy any of my stupid T-shirts, that's right. Buy the man's yeah, T-shirts. Yeah, Nick's got a lot of ideas coming oh. up. What's well, nice, man? Because it's like it gives me something to do during the day. I wake up every morning. I print out all the packing slips. I uh-huh. fucking go to the, the post office. 
It's like it's like having a little day job. Yeah, yeah it gives you errands. That's what I needed. It's some kind of side project. <laughs> <laughs> I just need another project. Another project. Um, my little side hustle doing stand up comedy across the fucking country. August, I'm filling up some dates, baby. Rochester, I'm coming to you August third. Boston, the 16th and the 17th. Oakland, the 24th. Seattle, the 29th. Portland, the 30th. Uh, hopefully those are announced soon. But yeah, keep an eye out for those. I'll be tweeting them on social media and all that kind of fucking shit. But yeah, your boy's trying to get back out there on the fucking road. I think I'm coming to Indianapolis finally in September. Uh, late September. So yeah, come see us. And also see fucking Funny Moms. Every Monday except the first. Yeah. We should move Funny Moms to the stand. Well, then stop Why? two shows there. We Yeah, the whole point of Funny was like right here. Um, but you were talking about moving it to Williamsburg anyways. Funny Moms, this month is the 8th, 22nd, and 29th. They have a, a booked event on the 15th. Also, the, the new stand is either open or reopening soon. You should check it out. Yeah. I was skeptical. I went by. Very nice club. Uh-huh. I have a yeah, weekly uh, show. Huge improvement over the last one. It, yeah. It's well, fucking it's like, awesome. It's, it's so funny. It's, it's cause like all these cool squares, things. Yeah. It's like, you know, like the fucking audience mics are cool. They're set up for, like, recording sets. Like, the, the size of the rooms, the layout of the rooms. Like the size of the stage, all these things that comics care about, like yeah. they're not talking about, and they're yeah. like, "We got a pizza oven in there, so Chrissy yeah, can yeah. Chrissy can toss a couple of pies around like the old days." They literally hired a man <laughs> from Naples to come make their pizzas. Uh, it's yeah. gonna rock. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wood burning. Yeah, I'm there every Tuesdays. We got Fat Tuesdays. We had the first one yesterday. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. Big big suck, Sess, and uh, be there every Tuesday. Not next week. They're fu- putting the finishing touches on the club, but the week after, be there every motherfucking Tuesday. We'll book the boys as well. They'll be there doing a little fucking skits. But yeah, thanks everyone for coming. And Skits and goofs. Those are all our fucking little hustles. Hank Bustoliano. Hey, it's Hank, me, Tony. Name's Hank Bust. Hank Bust. I can't wait to have fucking... You stay the fuck away from Pepper you Rain, fucking, if you If you come anywhere near Pepper Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever come near Pepper Rain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later. Bye.